<clears throat> Howdy folks. Right. Oh, I've had a fun day. What a fun, fun day I've had. Not. Mm. Right, hold on, let me decide how I'm going to do this. We've got to choose a way forward on this. This is going to be fun. Um, just check what I've done here. I've got several versions of the same thing. It's going to be an interesting discussion. my keyboard I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to this keyboard it's doing my head in Hi Laurie, can you check my volume and stuff is okay mate? This is nice. One, two, three, four. Audio is fine, good. So um, we're going to choose one of the ones that works to work with um, temporarily. Now that will have to exclude the when I was working on this afternoon. 
which is the one that I um, hosted the um, the gist on uh, this one. Because uh, I cannot get that to work with the new version. It's interesting because if you look at the, um, ooh, let me get to the CAD layout. Let's open the browser. suggest um, so the thing with this is when you are so this has been set up to try and use the 0 0.6 version of RTIC and um, I wanted to try and get around some of the lock problems I was having um, but I failed miserably now one of, one of the things that's different is it now says so if you look at what I'm doing here right if, if you look at the resources and my access to them um, even if we just look at this one here you have to lock them before you access them so whereas we did the uh, mutable ref let mm -mm, mutable ref equals from the resources to start, but we can't do that anymore, or at least not with um, the RTIC, not with the um, 0.6 version. And of course, when I try and do this bit, so here um, I'm trying to access the USB and the serial device. When I try and do it with those, I get a really wacky error. So let me let me just show you where it says this. So if I look at the document moving from 0.5 to 0.6, what it says here, now RTIC utilizes symmetric locks. This means that the lock method needs to be used for all the resource accesses or for all resource access in old code one could do the following as a high priority task as exclusive access to the resource which i kind of liked so here look no critical uh, uh, no critical section around here no lock because um, that was always going to run at a higher priority than this. So this couldn't interrupt that. So that looks safe, right? But no, 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 no. 0 0.6, you have to do both. So both have to lock. And also, look, they're using this directly here. They're not turning that into a... A mutated reference so that changes so it's a lot more ugly in that sense um, now it's a shame really because that was it seemed to be one of the benefits to me it looked to make the resource access um, simpler Now, obviously, they've gone a certain way down this only to find some issues with it, presumably, in 0.5 um, XX versions that result in them, um, I guess, hitting some roadblocks themselves, realizing that it's not going to work, and then having to back off, back up, and 
change to um, this symmetric locks. I'm not sure why. It could be to do with multiprocessing, for example, because that changes priorities and other things as well. And I know they've been looking at bringing that in. I mean, in truth, I don't know. <clears throat> but the trouble is, although this lock looks good, um, it doesn't work with my bits and bobs. So if we just switch to um, to my code, I can hear a pussycat again. Oh, Twinkle, are you trying to come in? Let me just switch back to this code. Bear with me. I'm just going to let my cat through. Hello. Hello, Twinkles. Um, <clears throat> get this out of the way. We can come back to that. So on here, so you don't have what we had before when I was loading the C USB CDC device was normally I had let at mut type this type. Twinkle, how can I help you? Hmm. <laughs> Bear with me a sec. Let me just do all my cat. What's the problem? Hmm. Well. So um, when I try and apply this, so in other words, I have to use a lock. Any resource access has to happen through a lock. So when you look at the code here, um, so this is our interrupt task, right? Before, whereas we picked up this mutated version from the resources, we can't anymore. What we have to do is we have to use a lock on them There's, they they provide a convenient multiple lock so where you put the devices that you want locked in a tuple and then do a lock on them that's a bit more convenient than doing nested locks it's just a bit neater syntactically but when i do that the error i get you can see down here whereby it's basically saying um, the method lock exists for tuple and then the types, but its trait bounds were not satisfied. Uh, in this case, what's missing is it's obviously not implementing Martech mutex. If you do this just on your basic uh, types like header, byte count, and program, like we're doing here, that's fine. Or even the SPI, which is a structure, that's fine. It doesn't have a problem with those. But there's something about the resources here that we have, even when I put task local on them, that prevent it from being able to use the mutex. So it's like a roadblock, really. I just can't get any further. Um, or at least not with that version. Mm. 
So uh, I can't get further with that until I can work out some way. And I haven't been able to work out a way of getting around that all afternoon. Um, so for us to continue with this, we can't continue with this version. So probably what I'm going to do is stash what I've got and then I can come back to this at a later point. So if I go to, well, I should be able to do it from within here. This is going to be fun. How do I stash from here? Um, stash, 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 stash. Um, get pull, fetch, merge, no, patches, patch, no. Has it got a statue in here? I can't see. Uh, commit, no. Do I have to commit before I stash? I can't remember now. Damn. Doesn't matter. I've got the gist I can get back to anyhow. So what I'm going to do is just actually go back to where I was last night. Um, so if I do tools, um, what do I need to do here? Shelf changes, stash changes, uncommitted changes, stash changes. Uh, Arctic no. six. Attempt. So I probably will need to revisit that. Create stash. Okay. Then hopefully with this I should be able to um, roll it back. Right. Or has it done that for me? That'd be clever if it has. Hold on. Let me just check. Oh yeah, I think it's rolled it back. That's good. Oh, that's really useful doing that in there. Saved me a few commands. Right, so this was the version we had. Let me just check where we are with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this still had the idle in it, and it had, this didn't have the spawn. We don't actually need to spawn anyhow, but we do need to transact. Sorry, not transact, we need to transmit. Um... So let's continue from here. Before I forget, one thing that I did find I needed to change was that. And we don't need that. And we don't need that anymore.
Yeah. Okay. Then um, the what we do need to do in here. Sorry, not in there. In here. Is it, we need to add uh, SPI transact to the soft SPI. It was a really simple thing. It was just a case. It was like a send. So it was um, in fact. Probably got it here. That oh, I need to be pub public. So all that does is it just sends a byte over soft SPI because we're going to need that to send the changes. Okay. Um, so we don't need to do any of the other spawn stuff in order to make this work. Let me just make sure before I add this in, make sure that everything's working. Let's just do a rebuild ah oh that one maybe i need to do a clean Like Piccadilly Circus in here today. I'm just catching back up to where we were before. Bear with me. I've seen this error before about the Cortex M. It gets mixed up about which which Cortex M version it's got. I think maybe because I changed to seven, maybe I need to go back to six. I needed seven for the new Arctic version, 0.7 for the new Arctic version. I'm just wondering if maybe that's what's confusing it. So what I'm wondering is, you know, do I do we go back? I mean, for the moment, we can play around with the app version if it works. Sorry, the Arctic version. Um, but let me take, take that back. I just changed this, didn't I? Changed it back to point six. Will that automatically update that if it's got a newer version? See, yeah, that works. If you get the wrong Cortex M it gives you that weird, weird error. It must be something to, way, to do with the way that the framework builds. So if I just uh, continue, I just want to make sure at this point that we're, we're back working again before I move on and cause any more further complications. Just one putty, get this up. Um. Come on, come on, man. Is now want to go oh, open? There we go. Yeah, I do want to shut that, and I do want the terminal, and I want to load. 
get my STTY set up. Oh, come on. Then I'm going to write my file to the FPGA. Voila, it works. Not just once, but hopefully it'll work twice. Let me write it again. Need to do something with the LEDs. Remind me, I need to do something with the LEDs when it's loading. It's not an easy visual sign, otherwise. Right, so that's just loaded twice, so I know it's all back working as it should. So let's just quit out of that. <sighs> right, so we're now back to it having a working um, working version under Arctic. But it's actually 0.5 or 0.5.6 in this case. This probably isn't going to do us any good in the future because we've got to do a lot of changes to make it work with 0.6. We've also got to get over that hurdle. Um, but what we can do for now is after we've done this, we can then write the values. So I can do a delay. Uh, Delay uh, MS hundred milliseconds, wasn't it? We were looking at uh, okay, and then we're going to do a transaction that's uh, sorry spy dot transfer transfer and um, what are we going to do we're going to do in fact now we're going to do a for loop Ooh. let's do a four uh, Like that. That's what we want to do. Something like that. Um, uh, count. Oh, come on, type properly, Mr. Wood. In fact, I want this delay in here. So basically, and that needs to go up to 15, not 16, I think. So 15 times or 0 to 15, 0 to 16. What we want to do is we wait 100 uh, milliseconds that should be milliseconds not microseconds and then we want to transfer over SPI the current value of count so we're doing 16 sorry 15 SPI transactions and count i.e. the byte that we're sending is going up from 0 to 15 which we then want to display on the uh, LED. That's that's the idea, right? Um, let me correct this because that shouldn't say US here. I did correct it on the code yesterday. Delay US. That shouldn't be US. That should be MS. milliseconds not micro so this is all the mod we need to send that code i know that's not how we want to run it properly we normally need to have a separate process either in idle or in um 
a spawn process. And by the way, looking at 0.6, you can use resources in idle as well, which you can in 0.5. That was one of the other advantages. If we ever get the 0.6 stuff working with our USB bits and bobs. Okay, so that should work. So let me just save that now. So when this gets the end to the end of its programming, it then goes and sends these extra bytes. Ready for the synthesis, that's, you know, that's uh, up and running inside the uh, FPGA to receive those SPI bytes and then transfer those to the LEDs. That's what we want to see. So that's what we're going to work on. Then we'll come back to the other rust issues about structure in a bit. Um, so let's just see if this compiles now. Okay, it's all good. Uh, okay. USB's up. Let's run the stuff. Looking good. Serial com one. Nothing's going to happen on here simply because I don't have the image yet. But we'll, we'll move on to that in a sec. What I'm checking is I haven't broken anything else. Okay, let's open the port. Let's configure it. And let's write something to it. Program the FPGA. That seems to have worked. That's once. So now I'm also doing that transfer. So I'm doing 16 lots of 100 milliseconds, which would be about 1.6 seconds. All there and thereabouts. So that should be finished. So now I should be able to write again, so I can program again. Yeah, and it's programmed again. That's good. So successive programming is working as well. So we're in a good position. So now um, what we probably want to do is look at the, um, the code side. So let's switch now to, hold on, let's just save that as this. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go to our old project called, uh, what was it called? Oh, it's probably test. So I just need to change the window setup for OBS because it's not going to pick up the right window now. Let me do that. Um, too much stuff in here. I want to do a clear out at some point. I'm going to choose a different window. I'm not going to choose this one. Okay, guys, you can see that all right. Um, so this is going to be a blast from the past. So can you remember this stuff? This was when we were working on alloy in NMIGEN. So it's time to off with the rust and on with the Python M Mygen heads. Um, so what we did in here was we did this thing. We had uh, spy LED. Um, we had some test points so we could see what was going on. Um, our LED here was actually GYR. Was it GYR? I can't remember now. Uh, I can't remember. Must have been. That was on the, um, if you remember, just to remind you, that was on this board. More specifically, besides the focus, remember the alloy and the LEDs were where were the LEDs? They were down here, weren't they? Down at the bottom. Da -da 
of my finger it focuses red green blue no red orange blue no what was it called green yellow red even so this was written for the alloy platform so what i want to do because this already accepts spi okay so it's not going to take much of a change so i'm going to take all of this i'm, I'm going to create i'm going to copy this select all i'm going to copy okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file under here called um, new python and i'm going to call it uh, black ice m x oh b i m x spy dot pi so we're going to do a black ice version of this it's going to be subtly different okay so let's paste all of this in uh, One of the bits that we have to change is this. See where we're building here. We're going to need to do something slightly different. So if we look, I've got I've already got a, a black ice linky on here somewhere. Hold on. BMX Blinky. So if we look at this, that's what we do here. Which is slightly different from this programming. Program. And it's not going to be TTYS6, it's going to be TTYS10 actually. Um, Spy Lead is the name. Draw about the test points. Keep this in for the moment. Might need to um, mess with that. I don't know if we we need any of that at the moment, but we may do. So that bit's different, obviously. Because we're using um black ice MX. So the way that we the way that it uh, uploads is different and the platform is different but there'll be another reference in here somewhere i'm sure to alloy instead of that i think hold on if i remember crikey i'm a bit rusty on this we haven't done any mmigen for months have we Request. Right. Up here we will need something different as well. I can't see any reference to black ice stuff here but definitely here we will need this 
black ice imports board imports um then we're going to have an issue with the led so let's have a check with the led so let's remind ourselves what's in the uh Um, and my gym boards. We're going to have a look at the Black Ice MX. In here, we have defined uh, the LEDs aren't here because they're in the um, defined in the ice core. Um, we do have mix mod. I'll have to come back to that. Okay, so I'm going to need the ice core as well because the black ice MX builds on the ice core. Where the hell is the ice core? I'm going blind, I can't see the ice core. Ah, oh, it's down here. Um, so in here, LED wise, we have LED, B, G, Y, and R. 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 So in this case, we need the extra one. Is B. Um, LED equals LED equals. Okay, so when we're using the LED equals, um, Mossy, SCK, CS, and MISO, those should be the same. <sighs> Mossy. You are spy resources. CS, CLK, Mozzie, and MISO. Yeah. Those look good. So those will be the same. Um, am I making assumptions about having free bit output here from somewhere? When I output to this. Test point, test point, test point. Data free here. LED equals. That should be four, not three, right? So we want four, the bottom four bits, not the bottom three bits. So we've got four LEDs in this case. Um, Okay. Will everything else be the same? Oh, sorry, I'm not checking my chat here. Sorry, I was focused. Uh, Laurie said, did you ever create a Black Ice MX board platform? Yes, I did, Laurie. Uh, I don't know if I put it in uh, a repository. It required me forking nmigen. I have a local version of nmigen where I fix the SD RAM reference because it wouldn't compile. I haven't tested the SRAM. Sorry, SD RAM stuff. Um, but I can um, I can send you a version of that. It's not a problem. In fact, didn't we have this discussion before? I actually posted it on uh, on forum, I think, rather than in, in a repo. But I can um, I can add it in; it's not a problem. In a bit. 
So basically, Laurie, what I've got is I've got an ice core board file, which is everything that's on the board, and then the black ice uh, board file for Mmigen extends the ice core and adds the P mods and mix mods. That's what that's the only difference between the two. That's why there's two files. So this should be about right. Um, now. Let's bring up the terminal. I'm damned if I can remember what the command was. Oh my god. I bet I can't remember. But it's not in my history. It was so long ago. It's a real shame that these terminals don't have individual history in these uh, Py PyCharm um, PyCharm terminals. That'd be kind of cool if they did that. Oh yes, we're going to go way, way back for all this rust stuff. history before I find this. That would be frustrating. Yeah, it's got this kind of um, universal history where it adds all the different stuff from all the terminals. Not sure if I like that. Oh, is it as simple as that? There we go. This is the stuff you need to remember. This in notes. Oh, it's in bloody notes, isn't it? Did I record the GTK? That one. Another one. Let me put that on there. So basically, yeah, all I need to do is That's why you make notes as you're going along and put them in a file and then you can look it up in there rather than having to go back through this enormous history. That's actually quite big, my history. I don't know what I've said it. So, Python. Uh, I don't think I even need Python 3. Um, what's it called? Uh, it's this one. Oh. 
I hear a cat. Yeah, hello cat. Right. Module not found there. No module named uh, Mijan. What? Will you stop it, Twinkles? I've put some food down for you. Look. Can you see? So very demanding. Look. Follow the finger to the food. What do you want? What am I looking for? <laughs> Command to run. I forgot how to run the emergent script. Um, from Mijan import style. That isn't good. What am I missing here? Why is it not finding a margin? Is it because I'm in this directory? But I'd normally be in this directory. Um. Why can't it see N Mijan? No module named N Mijan. But it's got to be there. Uh, stepper, stepper, stepper. Let me just try Python 3. I don't think I need that. No, same problem. Why is it not picking up Mijan? I'm confused. I do before that I'm not doing this time. Uh, is that not on the path or something like that? Oh God. Uh. Wait. Uh, is it um, echo? Bloody hell. Windows. Ah. Oh my word. Holy moly. What a nightmare that path is. I hate Windows stuff. Python 2.7 in the path, for Christ's sakes. Uh, 
Uh, how do I pass in extra directories to the Python command? Is a way of doing that? Let me just do a quick search. Um quite sure I had this program before. Is there a Python path? Hold on. No. Well, if it is, it's empty. Can I do... this? This might just... Uh, Ah, that worked. Um, but no module named VCD. Oh, great. Oh, great. <sighs> um, hmm. I'm not importing VCD. Where does it use VCD then? Simulator. Sim here. Write VCD. Is there another import here? Or is it a dependency of nmigen? Hold on. From VCD import VCD writer. PySim.py. That's part of... Um, Ah, this is annoying. <laughs> uh, 
and Laurie's saying, I gave up trying MMIG and stuff when Python kept telling me about incompatible versions. Oh. Um, where would VCD be? Hold on. Can't even remember the syntax for pip. Hope it's the right VCD. Seems to be downloading a whole crap load of other stuff. Try running it again after that. No, I cannot import name VCD writer from VCD. Oh, there's some sort of um, does the nmigen stuff have a subdirectory of flipping? other dependencies or something. Compact back HTML lib IFO signal vendor what the hell is this? No no V C D there. V C D Alloy lib. No. Ah, do do. Where would it have gotten that from? What else did I have on my path? My gen boards. Nothing in here to do with VCD. Is so. there? Nope. Python test. How about that? Oh, dee do dee do. I haven't, the trouble is, I haven't removed anything since this happened. I did upgrade my um, Windows subsystem for Linux. Maybe that broken the thing. Grr. External libraries, no. Uh, PIOs, no. Oh, I didn't expect we'll have to be dealing with this particular squirrel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually doing the VCD. Mm. Um Laurie, from memory, uh, what I did to install the um, my board files was I checked out nmigen and the nmigen boards, and then in the boards file, I manually added mine in and then built it, and then I pointed my install at the local mmigen boards rather than the um, normal pip install one and you can do that using this assuming your nmigen boards is at the level above yeah and if you change it you have to run the uninstall 
and then you have to do the install again. Um, I'm glad I made that note. However, this doesn't answer my question about the VCD. It's strange that I'm getting the problem with the VCD because I didn't get that before. I'm just wondering what I've done. Um, let me just have a quick think. I'm just going to grab some more water because my tea's finished. Just give me five seconds, guys, and I'll be back. Uh, use this for your comfort break. We're back. Um, let me just cut, check on the um, comments. Laurie's saying it would probably help if you forked MMIGEN boards on GitHub and added the ice core black ice boards to that. Yeah, that might be an easier way of doing it actually for everyone. They may well do that. Of course, if I now check it out, if I fork it from their repo now and then try and do it, it will probably break everything because they've probably changed it since I did that. So I might not do that quite yet. Hold on, let me just see if I can install VCD Writer. Cannot import name VCD Writer from VCD. It's installed the wrong thing, hasn't it? This is an entirely different VCD, I reckon. Uh, remove. Uninstall. Um, 
And we need to find out what the VCD is. Bloody hell. It's never straightforward, is it? Uh, VCD. Pi VCD, maybe. How would I know? Hold on, let's just go to N Margin. Where is the official repo now? I get a bit confused. Is it still M Labs or is it um, White Quarks? Anyone know? Uh, M Labs. Is this the one I should be looking at? White Park is definitely a contributor. Or should I just be using the one under their name? Uh, where would it say about um, dependencies? In my gym, example stocks. Uh, set up. Let's say, where does it normally say in Python? I can't remember SCM version. Set up. Extras. Wheel setup tools, setup tool, SCM. Python toolbox for building complex digital hardware. I don't see anything in here that says um, anything about VCD. Install requires import metadata. Da, 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 da. Import versus Python version. Pi VCD. Pi VCD. That's what we need. Right. So let's try again, shall we? Only using the correct one. That wasn't the VCD we were looking for. This one should. Oh. Ow. Mine bad. Um. Okay. Let's go again. Cannot import name version from N Mygen. What? what the hell?
beautiful. Oh, this is doing my noodling, man. <sighs> import, I cannot import name. So where is it looking at this? It's looking in the mmygen in it phy93. Can I look at that? Hold on. nmygen what's it looking at? file nmygen nmygen What's the difference between M Migen and M Migen build in it pi M Migen M Migen build in it point mine free that form yeah and then that brings in build platform.py plat.py nine eight from dot dot star dot 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 dot. Let's see directory above version. I don't quite understand why I'm getting all these issues. What happens? No. I have no idea why that is looking for this and why it can't find it. So dot dot would mean directory above, right? Underscore underscore version. God damn. This shouldn't be that complicated, and I don't understand what's changed more than anything. What's in this setup of Pi? Just out of interest.
Good golly, Miss Marley. Why is it importing that anyhow? What the hell is that? Tool chain. Back. Lib CDC. XDL. Tool chain. It's got the tool chain there. But version. Should it have a thing called version there? Let's have a look at the uh, repository. It's like it's changed. That's what's really weird. Unusual tales. I said there's no underscore underscore version. You know, you can see things like this, the tool chain directory, you can see that. And you can see underscore underscore in it by. There's a I look in the in in init pi. So if I look in the init pi, there's underscore version there. All the other stuff I can see it's this version thing. That's just really weird. I'll import version import I uh, cannot import name underscore version. Can you use that somewhere? Is it actually used? Yeah, it prints it out. Yes, there's only one place that's used, and that's for the auto generate, automatically generated by a migen. Do not edit. This is to serves dual purpose to explain that the file is auto generated. 
and to incorporate the mMargin version into the generated code. Uh, Toolchain pair. So why is it that it's not picking it up? I do not understand. What on earth has changed? Flipping it. I don't know if this would work. I'm going to try something that probably messes things up. Let's give it a go anyhow. We have nothing to lose. Do not forget the space, Mr. Wood. I'm also going to do the boards as well whilst I'm at it. Matt. Oh, this looks better. These are down to my own crap. Nine two oh five. Nine two oh five. Let's have a look so I can get rid of all this now. Oh, God. Uh, 205. Yeah, my lead. Okay. I haven't changed that, have I? No, it's just been on file home, local lead, python, site patches, and my dream build. Hmm. Resource does not exist. Mozzie. Uh, Twenty-eight. Hold on. I thought I already checked this. Mozzie. Okay, look at ice core. Oh, 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 bugger. Um, yes, it doesn't exist because I did something different with alloy, didn't I? Mm. How do we do it in Alloy? Yes, we individually did this. Hmm, how annoying. Um, okay, 
So I need these individually, don't I? So let's do the equivalent. Can I do the equivalent? Nice call. And then change the pin numbers. CS is seventy one minute. Let's do it in order. SCK. SCK. Ah, it's not. It's clock. Right, 70. Ah, uh, 70, 70, 70. And uh, then what do we need? Mozzie, 67. And then Miso, 68. And finally, CS seventy one. So, what I'm doing is I'm just adding the pins separately rather than as a group to um, the board file ice core. Now, because I've done that, I have to reinstall the um, that board. So, let's uninstall the boards. What? Let's just try and reinstall it then. Okay, and then let's just try rebuilding it now. Oh, I think we got further. Yosis error while loading shared libraries. Cannot open shared object file, no such file or directory. Oh, I've got a problem with Yosis now. God damn. <clears throat> Terminal didn't understand Unix. Error while loading shared libraries. Oh, jolly good. It never rains, but it pours. It's probably because I updated my uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. I've probably gone and broke everything. My goodness, it's fun here, isn't it? Um, where on earth have I installed Yosis? Ooh, that's pretty horrible. Um, I 
have I put it somewhere like Somewhere sensible. Yes. Right. Bear with me. We just open another terminal and set this off. This could take a while. Uh. Oh God, where does it think Yosis is? Hold on. Uh, get Big, isn't it? Get config. Cut. Remote. Where does it think that is? Get github.com yosishq yosis.git yosishq yosis okay set up just make sure we've got all this stuff I'm sure we have <laughs> I've got all my dependencies. Yes. Make. Oh, no rule to make target. Hold on. Let's do a make config. Make. Hopefully that won't make me frame drop like a bastard. Because <laughs> that's building your system background. The only problem with this is it may need to rebuild next PNR and God knows what else as well. Heaven knows what I've broken doing that upgrade. Oh, the joys. The joys of code. Anyhow, just so that you... Um, 
saw that lorry the thing to do is to get the local versions of nmigen and then my gym boards and then do the pip free install but using the local directory as a source rather than the remote repository but yeah i could possibly do uh, a fork of the repo however their repos probably moved on a bit so that might take a bit of work Oh, isn't this such a joy? You wait, I'll, I'll get the Yosis part done and then it will go. Oh, next PNR's broken. Hmm. Don't you just love it? Um. How can I tell how far off I am? I still am here. Is there a way? Let me just briefly. I bet I'm a long way out. Get status, something like that, maybe. Tells me how far behind your branch is up to date with Origin Master. Is it now? Well, I'm not sure that's entirely true. Uh, let's just have a look. So, what do we have here? Which repo is it using? That'd be interesting to see. So, this is based off. VM Labs and MyGen Git. So when I do the uh, Git status here, and it says your branch is up to date with Origin Master, has it actually checked that, or is that just up to date with local as in I haven't committed any changes? I probably didn't change in my gym, apart from well no I must have done hmm I did change something what did I change it was to do with the SRAM stuff let me have a quick look whilst that's building I can't see it now I better <sighs> so I need to keep an eye on this in the background I changed just for the record and my gym um, because on the pinouts for was it black ice for ice core something about the SD RAM resource here um, there were bank symbols cast dqm ba look i use none but you couldn't use none on the original one when you look at the sd ram implementation so let's go and look at that i actually changed it so sd ram resource resources Memory. SD card resources. S RAM resources. SD RAM resources. BA there. And then when I did, I added this line. But it's not showing that. Oh, wait a minute, on here, look. No, not showing that that's different. Because if you look, let me just look in the um, original NMIGEN version. I'll show you what I mean. 
Uh, let me look at their repo. Sorry, we're all over the place today. But I should point this out whilst I still can. And my gem. Where was it? That was Nmigen boards. Nmigen boards that I changed. It wasn't the Nmigen at all, it was Nmigen boards. Nmigen boards. You just turn this on so that you can see. Hold on. Resources, memory, and then I scroll down to SD, RAM. Yes. So here, notice I've got this line, right? I've got the if BA is none, so I can pass none in because I don't have any bank lines on the size of SDRAM that we've got. And their assumption when they wrote theirs is that you've always got uh, BA lines. So if I just show you um, that, turn the browser on. On their line of code, if you look here under the SDRAM resource, where they're assigning the BA pins, they're assuming that you've got BA pins. There is no assumption that you can have none. In fact, I should have done BA equals none at the top here. So that was the difference. That's only in my, that's the Nmigen boards, not Nmigen. Maybe I haven't changed in my gen at all. Let me just go back to this then. So I'm in the wrong directory here. I should be looking in the board. So the in my gen is no different there. It's just and margin boards so if i do the same thing here oops. yes you can see actually what i've changed here what i haven't modified all of those Untracked files. Yeah, see, these are the files that I'm adding. Obviously. Um, it's saying these are modified. I haven't modified these boards. Or are they saying they're modified upstream? Changes not staged for commit. I haven't changed all this stuff. What, 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 what? So it seems to think I've changed those. Definitely haven't. But it's not pointing to the SD RAM file change. But clearly that's changed. Oh, how very confusing. Let me just check. I am using the same source, aren't I? Yeah, MLab, send my gym. That's very odd. So, obviously, these need to be added in. They're not being tracked at the moment because I haven't committed them. I don't know why it thinks 
all of these have changed. Memory, yes. But I haven't changed the other stuff. Uh, that's very odd. Mm. Uh, it's still compiling. It's 53% on Yosis, by the way. I'm not quite sure why it thinks these boards have changed. Maybe those boards were touched in my upgrade process or something. Very confusing. Uh, so theoretically I could just fork those and add that chain, single change in and then add the boards. Um, which I will look at doing nine. It should be relatively straightforward. So what I will probably need to do is fork and migen, fork and my well fork and migen boards. I probably don't need to fork and migen. Then I'd need to uninstall my local and migen. Can I do that? I get a problem when I uninstall. I just tried that, didn't I, with the um, if you do an uninstall, it doesn't like that. It's what does it say? Error, you must give at least one requirement to uninstall. I don't know what that means. We can just install. Hmm. What does that mean? So I have to give it a name as well. Maybe. Okay, that seems to work. And I can reinstall. So I would probably have to do that.
So I probably want to change that to be default to none. So just like the others here, so attribs DQN, attribs DQM, CKE. Yeah, I think that will probably need to have um, that by default as well to be consistent with the others. How are we doing? 74% on Yosis. Oh, la, 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 la. How are you doing, guys? Talk to me. I'm bored of waiting for this stuff. I will look at doing the fork for you, Laurie. Or for everyone, really. I'll just fork NMIGEN and then I'll fork the boards. Then I will download them both. I will amend the NMIGEN boards. I will commit the change that you see here. And then I will commit the addition of those new boards to the local, my local version of it. And then you guys can download it if you need to then. I don't know if I can do that yet, can I? Hold on. Way else this is waiting. So many bloody things open. NMIGEN. NMIGEN boards. NMIGEN boards. Fork. Okay. So I'm just going to do to oh. 
Ciao. That shouldn't have worked. Um. What? Come on, stop messing about CP and Nigel boards hold So let's copy across the alloy and oh, I hate fucking windows. Why can't I have the commands that I am used to? Um, what was the other one? Black ice. Ice cool. It's capital I. No. Nice. What? Nice. Cool. And also we need um SMX. What did I call it? Black Ice MX? Yeah. Okay, and then the other thing we need to do is we need to We need to edit the um, resources file, memory. We need to have BA. Of course, none. 
And then down here we need uh, this kind of thing. Uh, BA here. BA. BA is not none, then that. Save that. Should notice that that is now the same. So if I just go into I'm going to do a git status. Yeah, so it sees all the new files and it sees I've modified that. Uh, let me just commit those changes. Um, um, Oh, I accidentally hit the super key. Modded uh, SD RAM uh, resources. Allow for no banks. Oh, I've got to add those boards. Is there an add all? I've forgotten. I don't want to add all though, just in case. Um, hold on. Yeah. Git add. Oh, my turn. Now, oh, silly of me to forget. <laughs> Sorry if this is a bit boring, folks. I'm just doing what Lawrence uh, Laurie asked me.
Okay. Um, has Yosis finished? No, it's slowed down towards the end. It's doing the ABC stuff. It takes ages sometimes. Okay, let me leave that going. Um, but what I can do in the meantime is I can... Uh, is install the normal version. In the wrong place. So this is the new forked version that I'm installing. So it should be the same as the last one, but anyhow. Just want to see that it doesn't bring up any um, errors when I run. I know we've got a Yosis problem, but there's a chance it might pick up some other errors. Like that. Uh, so what's this? SPI Flash Resources. Have they changed the naming? CSN. <laughs> WPN. Hold N. Oh look, they've changed the naming. Damn. Great. So I've got to go and change all my files now. That's going to be almighty confusing. So let's look, uh, let's do the alloy first. No, no. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> Ew, no. So it's not, no. so what do we need? We need clock, that's, it's called clock, not SCK. Well, it's not these ones, it's this one. Oh, in fact, I don't have an SPI flash resource in here. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Um, Black Ice MX, or is it? It might be an Ice Core. <sighs> God, Meta. Nice call. SPI flash resource, here we go. So it's not CS anymore. Wait. It's got CS there.
expecting me to do CSN saying unexpected CS. Let me just change this if it works. I can always go back. So they're saying CS underscore N, right? Underscore N. Uh, clock copy copy and sepo sepo and wpn and hold n Okay. Reinstall it for those changes. Oh, Yosis is built. I'll go back to that in a sec. Um, and then oh, So if they change the SD RAM resource CS as well. Okay. CSN. So what do we got? CSN. Are we in? I don't need to be careful here. Clock. I think the wrong one. CKE. Yeah, it's the same. CSN. Any others? WEN. Ross, uh, Raz and Kaz, are those Raz and Kaz ends? Yes, they are. Save. Damn, this is slow, man. That's what happens when you get behind. Wonder if anyone's still watching this. Are you there, guys? Make yourself known. Oh, installed. <coughs> ah, we're back to Yosis now. So, Yosis error while loading shared libraries. No such file or directory. But I've just rebuilt Yosis. Hold on. Oh, 
Mythical Duck, have you on? I'm afraid I haven't really been following. Probably best not to, Mythical, frankly. It's been one of those evenings. Chasing one goddamn thing after another. I'm trying to update my and my gym right now. Um, so I've just rebuilt Yosis. Oh, I haven't done sudo install. Don't! Oh. Uh, sudo make install, wasn't it? I think. Crikey, I can't remember now. Go check. Uh, Yosis. Uh, make make test. Oh, do I have to? It could take ages. Let me just do this instead. See if I make install. Right. So now I'm gonna come back here and I run Yosis version. That's it. That's better. Right, so let's go back to where we were. Oh no. This may be something else. So this is the upload that's failed. Where is that? Do I need to do... No, I just did that shit. That. SH build top return non zero status. So, wait a minute, what's this? So, it's calling platform build spider program call to do program true. That's then calling this build product plan execute build check call. Uh, so it's calling sh. What's our script? Command sh build top sh returned non zero exit status. So Right, I'll come back to this in a sec. Whilst I remember, I must commit these other changes. <sighs> I'll come straight back to that. Because I know this is building now. Okay, get permit
the worst thing about uh, why don't we do it whatever Damn it. Mm. Something really weird about the terminal here. Right, let's do it again. <laughs> Um, right, so let me get back to, uh, let me push that as well, I may as well. Uh, the origin master in that huh? Forget this shit. Go back to um, so that should be updated on the forum. Uh, on the if you look under my repo, uh, Laurie, let me give you the link. You'll find this here the updated board thing, and then you should be able to use the, the normal M Migen with any luck. Um, where do I need to go? I need to go to okay. test back to the problem we had before, which was all this stuff. Oh, come on, golly, Miss Molly, do make it hard. So it's complaining when I run this. It has an issue. What am I doing weirdly here? That was copying. Port. Hold on. Let me just check here. Do 
full chain program products extract in uh, CP bitspray bits bitstream file name to port right that's what it does is it the same for BMX does it inherit that should do def tool chain program Don't think it overrides that. Class Black Ice Platform. Does it inherit this? I do hope so. <clears throat> Build to program true. Um, so I think that's right. So it passes in a parameter called port, the value of which is that, which is the correct port. But when we run that, there is an error. Hold on. <coughs> I don't know why it's not programming it. Everything else looks good. Not giving me much to go on. Wait, what's it saying here? Oh, next PNR ICE 40 error while loading shared libraries. <laughs> hmm. Isn't this joyous? Just what we wanted. Hold on. Let's go to my Yosis. Let me just have a look. CD slash next PNR. Maybe I need to rebuild this. Hold on. Bear with me, folks. Maybe a yet another step going here. What joy. Next PNR. I did say that we might need to um, rebuild God this has got quite complex um, hmm do well. Get pull first. Oh, 
and then let's try doing a C make. You make error at CMake 191 add subdirectory source directory third party and cell CP does not contain CMake list text file and boost. Dice boot is depreciated use. Oh. Install prefix. Errors incurred. Oh, what joy! Mm. Price 40 support project ice bomb to install project ice bomb to use a local or another location which should be passed as install prefix. Oh, next PNR is complaining about. What's it complaining about? So when I did the um, C make, found boost, da da da, add regex chrono date atomic C make error at C make list.txt191 add subdirectory, the source directory. Only with next PNR third party Absel CPP does not contain a C make list dot text file. What? Absel. Oh boy, this could be complicated. What version of C make do I have? Three point one eight. That's bloody old, isn't it? Uh, I wonder if I can update that. Hold on.
wonder if that's got anything to do with it. So you make is already the newest version, 3.163. I wonder if it's a version problem. So C make 3.3 or later. Well, I do not have that version. I also do not have any easy way of um, hmm. Because I redid the bloody Windows subsystem for Linux, it's punishing me now severely. I think last time when I installed NetPNR, I actually built CMake from scratch. Yeah, it's a problem with um, the current version. Oh, but it, it does say on the website CMake 3.3 or later, so I'm going to have to get another one. But um, when I do my sudo app install CMake, it says uh, CMake is already the newest version 3.16.3, which is ancient compared to what they say CMake 3.3 or later. So I'm going to have to manually install um, CMake in order to get that working. How very lovely. I bet I've done this before. Yeah, I've got a CMake directory. Hold on. Isn't it joyous, the world of software? Uh, is it on GitHub? CMake? No idea. CMake. Is it cmake.org? GitLab? What? Hold on. Is that right? Am I being... Uh, um, let me see. I've got C make uh, and dot git there is no dot git directory in my cmake directory where does cmake live then Hold on. Cmake.org. Latest release three point two. What? Hold on. Uh, am I missing something here? C make three point two. Am I looking at the right bloody site? Because under Yosis HQ it says C make three point three or later. 
Well, the latest version is 3.2 according to this site. I can't be. Is it? Is it not cmake.org? Does anyone know where the proper cmake lives? Am I being led up a garden path? Hmm. Anyone know? The official site for CMake. There's no link. Google seems to think it's CMake.org. I go to CMake.org. Download latest releases. Latest release is 3.2. Oh, it's 3.20, not 3.2. Fucker. <laughs> Don't they have a Git repository for flipping CMake? Really? I've got to download a tar. Christ. Damn. Okay, th this isn't my problem. See, make 3.3 or later. So, if my current version of CMake is 3.16, that's more than late enough. So, that's not the issue here. Um, why is it complaining about the subdirectory? Next, PNR, third party, abseiled CPP, does not contain a cmakelist.txt file. Oh, what? Let's just do a quick Google on that error. Uh, Laurie says thanks for that. That's for the repo. Uh, I have not been following much. <laughs> you haven't missed a lot, mate. I'm just going around in circles. I've got a problem now. I've uh, rebuilt Yosis. That's working. Um, I made all the changes to NMIGEN boards because that had changed. And then I pushed those changes as well. Um, I've now got a problem with Next PNR. And I'm trying to get Next PNR built. But I'm getting a C make error. It's 
it's complaining about absev hyphen cpp evening hold on a sec think why would it complain about that subdirectory sorry I'm starving Show you what I'm getting. This is the error I'm getting. So when I try and build next P and R, you have to do this first, right? As per the instructions on the site. Um, but then, if you look carefully, look when it gets here, it gets this C make error at. subdirectory that does not contain a C make this file and it's like And I don't know what that is all about. I get the feeling I should be passing something in, but I don't know what. Something to do with these.
this is messing with my head the C make error That's an empty directory. What happens if I remove that? Same problem. actually trying to do in that directory then make error Well, I want my nine one, was it? I don't know why my go to isn't working in again. Add subdirectory. What does it say? Not wazzy. What does that mean? Exclude from all. Is there a subdirectory called third party? Yeah. And I did remove that.
run it again. What? Let me just have a quick look in um Yeah. Third party. There isn't a subdirectory. Yes there is. Oh oh you know what it is? Bloody hell. I know what the problem is. I need to do git sub whatever it is how do I get update all the um, subdirectories So I need to do. Um, I I can't. I need to do git pull um, already up to date, but I need to recursively get their git sub modules. What's the command for, for that? Bug it if I can remember, is it? Uh, recursively fetch sub modules. Which version of Git have I got? Good point. Apparently the command varies. 嗯，所以。because it's not there uh, 
Hold on. Why could it not access that? Could not access submodule third party absent. Come on, give me a break. And maybe that's because I got rid of this. How do I restore to the current version? Uh, in Git. Um. Still not doing it. Jesus Christ. Doing my head in. Oh, at least it got at that time, I think. <clears throat> Still got the same problem, though. Why doesn't it list? Hold on. No.
Hold on, is that listed now? I still don't see the damn thing listed. Ah, at least it's not coming out with that error now. Hold on, we might be in with a chance. This could uh, slow my OBS down somewhat, just so that you're aware. That's building next PNR now. Uh, anyone have any questions? Because I know we're um, well off the beaten track here. Bet you didn't think you were going to get a lesson in how to get um, <coughs> Yosis. Next PNR and N Migen with a board variant working on Windows subsystem for Linux. That was an unexpected little bonus, wasn't it? Mind you, we're not working it. So. Damn! I'm not sure how long that's going to take to build. Oh, fatal error. Python H, no such file or directory. That doesn't sound good. Why is it still continuing then? That's weird. Um, why isn't it found the Python H? Do I need to app get install something else? Uh, Python free dev, I think is what I need to install. What's it doing? Waiting for unfinished jobs. Do I need to quit that? Hold on. already the newest version All the a copy Python that matches the VC PG currently found there. We can download, we may need to extract. Um, hmm. There is something missing. What? 
can it be? That's really weird. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it's not. It's, um, it's not built. Oh, how do I do a clean with C make? Yeah. Still not finding Python H for fuck's sake. Oh, very annoying. God, this is turning into a goddamn marathon. Hate this shit. I feel free to have.
same problem. They're looking for a different Python version or some stupid shit. God damn it. Um, Three point eight point five. Does that make a difference? Is it something stupid like this? Can't possibly be, can it? No. Good golly, Miss Molly. Why can't it find... Does it expect a version of Python that's different from this? Is that what the problem is here? It does talk about something. For Windows it talks about that. Oh, that's for Windows. Don't say anything about Linux. It just says Python 3.5 or later, including development libraries. On Windows, make sure to install the same version as supported by VCPKG. On Windows, does that include Windows Subsystem for Linux or something? Does it talk about doing something like that here? I'm not sure what to do on this front. <sighs> I mean, I could... Mm.
this is something to do with VC PKG install. I don't think I need that, do I? For Ubuntu, it says Python free, Python dev. So why the hell isn't it finding it? Oh, guys, I'm going to have to call it a day in a minute. I'm losing the will to live. Um, this is so goddamn frustrating. I don't know quite how to solve this situation. I wonder where it puts this Python library.
Can I pass that in maybe? I mean, where the hell would that file be? Um... All right, let me just uh, start to be back in a sec.
still here. <laughs> oh my god. But is anyone still watching or listening? <laughs> this is tedious, man. Good golly. Come on, doing on the mount. Uh, I should stop this because it's looking at all the window stuff and it's probably wrong. Um, so let's have a look. Hmm, weird. Let's find it under uh, yes, uh, will it be lib? Um, oh. Try
Hold on. This is one other possibility. Ah, there we go. That was stupid. Um, damn it, I saw this just now. Oh, that's not quite right, is it? I think I'm getting further than last time. Um, I just realized you can actually build more than one architecture at once.
not going to bother doing that at the moment, but uh, useful to know. There's all sorts of variations I was just reading through on the um, next PNR stuff. Um, crikey, I've almost forgotten what I was doing now. Uh, yeah, we need to go back to our margin if this installs. Oh my word! Not sure if I'm going to publish this stream or not. I could otherwise rename it as something to sleep to. Need protein. Keep me going through this joint. Oh dear. You can hit another Python problem. No rule to make target. Mm -mm -mm. What does that mean? No rule to make target. It seems to be rather Python sensitive, this next PNR build. Tell it to use a different version of Python. God! Will it be called .so? Um, 
Um, well, I've got 3.9 on there as well. That's confusing. But is this the right place? Is that where the library is? Or is that just where Python bits are? Want to press the menu just in details. Where are the libraries? Is it the libraries I'm after? God, I don't know. You're on dip now. Where should I be looking? Is it lib? It seems to find Python lips. User lib Python free out. No rule to make target user lib. Python. Oh, spelled that wrong. Python. Not very clever. I think it already knows about this anyhow, so I don't think it's going to make any difference, frankly. Warning, target next when I request linking to a directory from that. Target may link only to libraries. 
so it doesn't like that anyhow. It doesn't like it. Can't do that. Damn it. So why the hell doesn't it do that? Why is it trying to build a 3.6 target then? When it knows the Python libs are 3.8. No rule to make target using lib. Hold on. Nice as well, Dusty. Sorry folks, it would be nice if I actually got there, have my tools working again, my FPGA tools, be kind of great.
Oh, it's actually doing anything. It's been very slow. actually be really nice to get back to just actually doing something on the FPGA rather than building all the tools and stuff it's insane It doesn't look like it's making any progress at all, does it? It's meant to be just linking, but... Ah, oh, holy doody doody! Oh, done! Um, uh, what do we want? Let's just run it. So. They're still getting an error. Oh, I need to do a pseudo make install, don't I? Don't! Always forget that's because it took so damn long. <clears throat> Even logged me off my pseudo, took so long. Mm -hmm. Error. Is it still trying to error while loading shared libraries? libqt score five cannot open shared object file, no such file or directory. Oh jolly good, that's really helpful then. Why does it need QT? Is there like a non command line version? Oh, God, God, God. Said something about the graphics somewhere. <clears throat> I don't need QT, surely. Is it trying to use a Qt GUI on Ubuntu to install Qt default? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that.
So Qt5 default is already installed. But when I run this, can't find it. No such file or directory. Qt5 oh, What do I need? Qt5 core T5 core. Core 5. Core SO.5. Lip QT5 core SO.5. SO.5. So there's a five. Okay. Maybe it can't find that because that's not in the path. How do I tell it where that is? Damn! This is such a nightmare. If PUR GUI is not built by default to reduce the number of dependencies but to enable it, add GUI on. Why is it looking for it if it doesn't need it? Thank you. 
don't know if this is going to make any difference. I don't know why it's looking for that anyhow. Although it's actually installed, don't you? Oh. Come on. Twinkle, how can we help you? Mm -hmm. does say it should build by default with the GUI off, but yet it was asking for the QT library when I ran it. It seems suspicious to me, but the QT library was actually there, strangely. Although it wasn't finding it. <clears throat> this time, God damn it. Right, well, this is just like watching paint dry, I'm afraid, folks. Um, let's leave it with me. And we might have another hack tomorrow evening. If you have enough patience. Hold on, where is it now? 84%. Reminds me of when I used to build into Linux many years ago. <laughs> it's madness! It's madness! I bet this is going to be exactly the same. Ninety eight percent, ninety eight. No, oh, but this might take ages. The linking took ages last time. Yeah. 
Here, Frank, this is the new one, Chad. Do you want them? Do you want them? Right. No biscuits. Hmm. Night guys, I'm going to call it quits for the evening. Hopefully this will all be sorted by tomorrow. If <laughs> we're really, really lucky. Oh, look, it's just done it. I bet it comes up the same error. Yeah, same problem. I somehow need to tell it where that is because it can't find it. Very strange. Anyhow, thanks for sticking with me. We're nearly there. Um, let's have another go tomorrow evening. Ciao, folks.